I am the boss man. Uh, my name is Nate Jantz, and I'm the guy who runs ZeldaInformer.com. And this is a brand new series that's basically about me talking about gaming, Zelda, uh, the Zelda Informer community, or the website. Um, my opinions are all wrong a lot of the time. Um, and I'll say things wrong, like I will say Hillian instead of Hylian. Uh, please forgive me. <laughs> it's all in good fun. Um, I don't always have my facts straight. Uh, so there's a few rules for this show, and I already broke one of them, but it hasn't started yet. The rule hasn't been put in place, so I can't get in trouble. Uh, that rule is that I cannot say the words basically or literally. Uh, if I say these words uh, for the rest of this episode or in future episodes, then you can call me out on that. Uh, only I, I'm only going to accept one person doing it. And you have to call me out on ZeldaInformer.com, uh, wherever this video is being posted on that website. Now, why am I not accepting comments on YouTube, where the video is hosted for this? That would be because, I almost said the, so I have one of my words there, that would be because I do not like Google+. Uh, I'm not a fan of Google+, and I don't like reading Google+, comments. Now, it doesn't mean I won't read your comments on YouTube. Um, but there's a lot less likelihood that I'm going to reply to your comments or that I'm going to use them to call me out. So you have to call me out on ZeldaInformer.com wherever this video is posted on there. Uh, and there will be a link down below in the description um, to take you to that post. Now, I'm only going to let one person call me out because I know how, I know how you internet work. Uh, one person calls me out, someone sees that call out, and suddenly 70 more people call me out. And the reason I'm limiting it to one person calling me out is because I'm giving away a free T-shirt. Uh, if you catch me making that, though, breaking one of my rules, you will get a free T-shirt. Now, there's a chance for you to catch me on three different occasions. I could say, as I said before, this doesn't count, literally or basically, or I could be not wearing pants. If you ever catch me in the recording not wearing pants, <laughs> it's a bad habit of mine I have when I work at the website. If you call me out on any of those, you will get a free t-shirt, but only the first person to call me out on it. Everyone else is disqualified. Wah wah! So, what is the show about today? The show is the about top five, five thingamajiggers in the Legend of Zelda series. Number five, Zelda stories are simple. So, a lot of folks try to ask for a more complex story, a darker story. Uh, you know, sort of like in Twilight Princess or Majora's Mask. Personally, I like the simplicity that the Zelda stories offer. I don't feel they need to really grow up with me. Now, I'm 28 years old, uh, so you would figure I'd be on the side that wants Zelda to grow up with me, but I like that it kind of calls into my inner child and leaves a lot open for interpretation. And the interpretation stuff is actually what I find really fun about the series. So, I mean, I like simple Zelda stories. It's in my top five. Live with it. Number four, that Link is a pretty boy. Let's be honest. He has the perfect jawline, the perfect skin complexion, that pretty blonde, brown hair. Um, he's kind of the perfect height compared to other Hillians. He's basically a pretty boy. And he doesn't even have to do anything to maintain his look. He's naturally a pretty boy. And I like that. Um, I'm not a pretty boy. I have glasses. I got a little extra meat on my bones. Um, I'm not good at tying ties. Uh, even my glasses are a little broken. I got bushy eyebrows. I'm I'm not perfect. Um, Link kind of is, so I like it because he's kind of reminding me what I want to be, and I like that. I like that a lot. God, I'm ugly. Number three. I get to kill things with tons of various weapons. Uh, I like that about the Zelda series, and it's something that's changed over the years. Uh, in the original Legend of Zelda, you killed everything with your sword, uh, or your sword beam. And now you do it with a bow, a slingshot, a ball and chain, <laughs> not that ball and chain, and lots of other uh, various weaponry, you know, boomerangs, and I just named off all the basic ones, the Deku Leaf claw shots, etc. There's a lot of items, and I like killing enemies with it. And maybe that just speaks to my inner manhood or something. There's just something about killing a beast um, with a new weapon that is just really satisfying. Number two. Link never cries. 
Now, I'm an emotional person. I cry pretty much, not all the time, but um, to anything that impacts me uh, mentally or emotionally or even physically. And Link doesn't do that. Um, even though he's a pretty boy and you might want to think that he's like a sissy or a Nancy boy, he's not. Um, nothing phases him. He might, you know, scream or yell like he does in The Wind Waker. I mean, but who isn't going to do that when you're shot out of a cannon? Uh, but he doesn't cry. Um, some of this, you could say, means he's not emotionally attachable to the situation. Um, like if Zelda's hit and he doesn't show any emotion to that, you could argue that maybe he just doesn't have a heart. But I think it goes into his whole courage moniker, and it makes me want to cry less. And I think I already cried in this episode, so Link... Thank you for reminding me that I should be a man, a big boy, an adult. <clears throat> Number one, the Zelda series is not defined by any singular art style. Whew, man, that was tough to get out. I already know there's going to be people firing back at me because they want to have the same art styles. Uh, I'm, I love that the series does not use the same art style. I like that the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask look different than Twilight Princess, which looks different than The Wind Waker, which looks different than Skyward Sword, which all look different than Zelda U. And I could argue they all look different than A Link to the Past, which actually looks different than Zelda 2, and Zelda 2 looks a lot different than the original The Legend of Zelda. Whew. I like that the series does not really conform to a singular art style. Even though I feel one of those art styles would sell particularly better at retail than other art styles. But that doesn't mean that I dislike the art styles. I like that, that they're new and fresh every time, that I don't know what's coming. Is this going to be another cell shaded game? Are we going to get another Wii U tech demo style? Are we going to get what we got in Zelda U? The point is, I have no idea, and I like it. It leads to part of the excitement of a Zelda game's reveal. Uh, in addition, man, the games are all, they're, they're all beautiful in their own way. Skyward Sword with its painter style, Zelda U with its kind of painterly, cell shaded, realistic mashup style. I don't know, something about that field shot just really does it for me. And then the whole, the whole encompassing, um, down to earth grittiness of Twilight Princess also really works for me. And you know, there's that Wii U tech demo. Uh, those are my top five thingamajiggers in Zelda. Now. At this point in the show, I will be weighing myself on Wii Fit U, uh, and this is my first time using Wii Fit U in, uh, since it came out, since the free demo came. So I have to set it up, so I'm going to get that set up, and I'm going to hop on and let you guys see what my BMI, I believe, is what they use to determine. And we're going to keep doing this every week where I have to have a better one or, le or you know, lose weight every week until the game tells me that I'm within a healthy range for my height. And I'm about 5'5", five, five, so I don't know what the game determines as my healthy weight for that. But uh, we're going to see what I weigh right now. And next week, we'll see uh, what I don't, you know, what, if I weigh less. Uh, if a week ever arises that I don't uh, weigh less, that I actually weigh more, then I'm going to eat something that I don't like, like really don't like, like induces me throwing up, don't like. And for the first time if it happens, I'm going to eat a bowl of sauerkraut. Now I hate sauerkraut. Some of you guys might not know what it is. I think it's more of a Northern America thing, like in Wisconsin and Minnesota, but it's gross and I hate it and it's disgusting and all of my friends love it. So I'm going to force myself to eat a bowl or I'm just going to lose weight every week so I don't have to deal with it. Um, so I'll see you guys in a second. Of course, I'm waiting on my break. I can't use the front. No, 
There we go. That's more. There we go. I got it right there. So we have to get a new balance board. Is it, is it getting in the video? All right, folks, that's my BMI. Pretty high. Looks like I need to get a new Wii Fit balance board. My top left isn't working, but that's an accurate BMI. I stuffed on the parts that are working. All right, we'll see if I can lower it next week. Thanks for watching The Boss Man.